Have you ever pondered what it's like to live life on the edge, where trust is a luxury few can afford? Three Days of the Condor, a 1975 thriller directed by Sidney Pollack, delves deep into this realm of suspense and espionage. Starring the classic Hollywood actor Robert Redford, the film unfolds a gripping tale of a bookish CIA analyst who finds himself entangled in a deadly conspiracy, triggering a three-day race for survival. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? And what classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite? As you reflect on this classic, we would love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the film. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Setting the stage for some random facts about the show, did you know that Three Days of the Condor was inspired by the novel Six Days of the Condor by James Grady? The film's intense plot, coupled with Robert Redford's charismatic performance, captivated audiences in the 70 seconds, leaving a lasting mark on the espionage thriller genre. Share your thoughts, your favorite role, and your treasured memories of this cinematic gem. We can't wait to hear your stories. And now, it's time to dive into the intriguing world of Three Days of the Condor. Three Days of the Condor, a 1975 movie, is known for being the last Paramount film to regularly use the 1953 Canyon logo. This logo has also appeared in later movies like the Indiana Jones series for a retro feel. The film has an old AA rating in the UK, as it was never officially released on any form of home media until 2016 when Eureka! Masters of Cinema released it with a 15 BBFC certificate due to strong violence and infrequent strong language. Robert Redford, the lead actor, is left-handed but notably writes with his right hand in every scene where Condor writes something in the movie. These facts offer a glimpse into the film's history and its connection to iconic Hollywood branding and actor quirks. The film Three Days of the Condor from 1975 was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Film Editing, although it lost to Jaws. This recognition highlights the movie's exceptional editing work, but it fell short of securing the prestigious award. Despite this, the film remains a notable piece of cinematic history, known for its suspenseful storyline and memorable performances. In Three Days of the Condor, the intricate plot weaves a web of espionage, conspiracy, and government secrets. The nomination for Best Film Editing underscores the film's ability to maintain tension and intrigue through its skillful editing, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. While it didn't take home the Oscar, the film's legacy endures as a classic of the thriller genre. This nomination serves as a testament to the film's craftsmanship and its place in the annals of cinematic history. Three Days of the Condor may not have won the award, but it certainly earned its spot among the memorable films of 1975. The film Three Days of the Condor from 1975 was shot on location in New York during the fall of 1974. This setting provided an authentic backdrop for the movie's espionage and conspiracy plot. The urban landscape of New York City added to the film's atmosphere and contributed to its overall sense of tension and intrigue. The city's streets and buildings became an integral part of the story, creating a compelling backdrop for the film's unfolding events. The use of real locations in the filming of Three Days of the Condor added to the movie's authenticity and helped immerse the audience in its world of government secrets and espionage. This fact sheds light on the behind-the-scenes efforts to bring the movie to life in a realistic and engaging way. Three Days of the Condor effectively used the city of New York as a crucial element in its storytelling, enhancing the overall cinematic experience for viewers. The American Literary Historical Society building the backdrop for the opening scenes in Three Days of the Condor is also home to the American Irish Historical Society. The film's early moments unfold in their backdoor courtyard, setting the stage for a gripping tale of espionage and government secrets. This choice of location added authenticity to the movie's plot, immersing viewers in a world of intrigue and danger right from the start. The film's impact extended beyond its own time, as it served as an inspiration for the story structure of Captain America, The Winter Soldier, another film featuring Robert Redford. This connection highlights the enduring influence of Three Days of the Condor on the world of cinema. Additionally, the iconic scene in which Jaubert reveals the company's plans to Turner was parodied in the comedy show Seinfeld's episode The Junk Mail, showcasing the lasting imprint of this 1975 thriller in popular culture. 
These facts shed light on the movie's enduring significance and its ability to influence and captivate audiences across different eras and mediums. Three Days of the Condor remains a cornerstone of cinematic history. Three, Higgins' office is based at the World Trade Center. Cliff Robertson, who played Higgins, is a keen aviator and was flying a private Beechcraft Baron over New York City on the morning of September 11, 2001. He was directly above the World Trade Center, climbing through seven, 500 feet when the first Boeing 767 struck. Air traffic control instructed him to land immediately at the nearest airport after a nationwide order to ground all civilian and commercial aircraft following the attacks. In an unexpected turn of events, the actor Cliff Robertson, known for his role as Higgins in the 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor, had a remarkable and chilling experience tied to the World Trade Center. On the fateful morning of September 11, 2001, Robertson was piloting a private aircraft above New York City. As the tragic events of 9-11 unfolded, he found himself directly above the World Trade Center towers when the first plane struck. Air traffic control swiftly directed him to land at the nearest airport in accordance with the nationwide order to ground all aircraft. This real-life incident involving an actor from the film adds an unexpected layer of connection to a movie known for its espionage and government secrets. It's a testament to the coincidences and unusual twists that life can bring, even for those involved in the world of cinema. Former CIA director Richard Helms acted as a personal consultant to Robert Redford for his role as the Condor in the 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor. This behind-the-scenes collaboration brought real-life espionage insights to the film's portrayal of a CIA analyst caught up in a web of conspiracy. Helms' involvement sheds light on the dedication to authenticity in the movie's depiction of the intelligence world. The 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor was one of seven films directed by Sidney Pollack, featuring actor Robert Redford. This collaboration between director and actor is a notable aspect of the film. In a particular scene toward the end of the movie, when Turner returns to New York City, there's a sweeping panoramic shot of the city streets. If you look to the left of the U.S. Armed Forces recruiting office, you'll notice a movie billboard advertising the current feature, The Towering Inferno, which adds a subtle layer of detail to the film's setting. Also, it's worth mentioning that the movie won the Mystery Writers of America's 1976 Edgar Award for Best Motion Picture Screenplay, underscoring its excellence in storytelling. These facts provide a solid starting point for diving into the intricacies of Three Days of the Condor. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the enigmatic world of Three Days of the Condor, let's take a moment to pause and reflect. This 1975 masterpiece, a thrilling blend of espionage, paranoia, and the quest for truth, has captivated audiences for decades. Its timeless allure lies not only in the gripping plot, but in the profound connection it forges with each viewer. What is it about this film that strikes a chord with you? Is it the suspense that keeps you on the edge of your seat, or perhaps the complex characters that resonate with your own inner struggles? Maybe it's the eerie sense of a world shrouded in secrets that leaves you pondering the depths of government intrigue. Whatever it is, your unique perspective and personal connection to Three Days of the Condor are treasures worth sharing. Have you ever found yourself lost in contemplation, just like the film's protagonist, Joe Turner? How do the themes of surveillance, government conspiracy, and the quest for truth resonate in your life? This is your opportunity to share your thoughts, memories, and emotions this cinematic gem has stirred within you. We invite you to join the conversation and let your voice be heard. Share your favorite moments, your most vivid memories, or the thoughts that have lingered long after the credits rolled. By doing so, you become a part of the enduring legacy of this remarkable film and the community of cinephiles who cherish it. Thank you for taking the time to explore the world of Three Days of the Condor with us. Your insights and experiences enrich the tapestry of film appreciation and make it all the more vibrant. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep those thoughts and memories alive, and remember, every story is uniquely written by you.